a little bit. But we'll go ahead and start up Detroit Become Human. Where my hug at? Ah, uh, where my hug at? <laughs> I hated that. Ah uh, ha ha. Also, hype train. Two minutes on the hype train. If anyone else wants to get on screen on that hype train, um, if not, no worries. Thank you guys very much. Um, get some hugs in the chat. There you go. There you go, Unico. Nico got it. Please adjust your screen settings. Okay. I always make the not visible one somewhat visible for like stream. I always go a little brighter Thank than I you. should. Now select your profile. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character. I want to focus on the story with simpler controls. A few forgiving, a more forgiving challenge with fewer chances to lose a character. Yeah, I, I don't want to play any. I, I, you are it's a now story ready game. to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. I should turn off this music. This it does not fit the game. Is our future. This is our future. Now or after you eat. I'm going to start it now. And then after I eat is when we'll really play it. This is cool. Oh. Went immediately we're in. Wait, thank you for the 300 bits. I appreciate it. Zach, what'd I do? Little guy on the logo so silly. Alright, well, let's, let me take a look. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Thank you for the hype train, guys. Thank you for the level 6. Thank you for the 20 subs and the 1,250 bits. He's just a little guy. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, let's, let's go. Hey. You. Let me tell you something. Oh. Buh. 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 Oh, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Little merch guy. I'll be taking that. Phillips John, Phillips Caroline, Phillips Emma. Oh, dude, you could play this game in the. Oh, I, I, I can't leave her. Hold on a second. Negotiator? Is this some kind of a hostage situation? Give me just a second. I need to go inspect the elevator. No, nothing in the elevator. Sorry, I'm a bit of a, I'm a robot. Don't really know what's going on. Give me just a second. Yeah, let me. Oh, fish! Dwarf Grommy. Save the fish. Match my other B. Let's go. Yeah, the factor sponsorship's still happening. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Excuse me. This robot is being played by a real person, okay? I know that I seem a little sociopathic, but I'm, I'm not a robot. Excuse me, fellas. I gotta go over here for a second. 
Surely there's no time limit. Okay, I'll talk to the captain first. Excuse me, Captain Clark. Whoa. Captain Allen. I mean Allen. I mean Allen. The android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know its name? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now. Bang! Or I'll take care of it. Jackass. Help me out a little bit here, human. All units hold positions. The negotiators going. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know how to, how to walk very well. Give me just a second. Let me watch a YouTube video real quick. now I think so get out when I have people over give them to argue over what they should do I like it child didn't hear gunshots you to run. Bucko. Ah, yes. 0.355 ammunition, 115 grams. Power factor, 414k. I knew it. Glock. I gotta go to my mind palace. Think. I wonder if there's something over here. Give me just a second. I need to... <laughs> yes. It seems like there's something over here. Upper middle class. Lower upper class. At worst. I see. Oh, every second counts. Sorry. A dead guy. We analyze death. Deceased. Oh, this guy's dead. Oh, this guy's dead. Oh, sh it would appear this guy's dead. There seems to be something bad happening here. <laughs> Just realized. Hmm. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing for an assault and... 
perfect. Understood. SWAT team moment. Family was having dinner. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. I was loud. Gunshot jump scare. I got just a couple more things to look at, guys. Holy shit, that guy's dead too. Holy fucking shit. No, that, no, he's dead. He was shot. Hold on. With a gun. Hold on. Thrice. And one more second. John. That's the father. Oh, no. All right, let's go talk to this android. Uh, yeah, we've got a bad android on our hands. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? I gotta see what's in this blue goop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Someone attacked the android. I see. I understand. Someone hit the android. Hostage located. Ah! Stay sharp. Everybody ready to go at any second. Ow. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. Nobody's going to die. Stay calm. Everything's going to be fine. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. I've spent my life taking orders. 
Jesus. Now it's my turn to decide. And that's how you handle a hostage situation. You heard? over I, I could that was a good game <laughs> i I had my heart was pumping you already died and completed the game yeah the whole game is done now i won i won you're terrible at this what's that you're terrible at that i'm terrible i won <laughs> he saved so the girl. i saved the girl what are you oh. talking about sarah i'm terrible at the game what did what would you have done you would have killed the girl and kept living as a robot? Jeez. <laughs> Surely there's not 50 more missions. Nope, that's the end of the game. Clueless. <laughs> you know, when I looked up the game time earlier and it said 12 hours, I didn't expect it to fly by that quick. Yeah, that was wow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen someone pick that. Really? I won. I did it. I did it so goodly. I'm going back out. See you later, Becco. I wonder if there was a way for me to live and save the girl. Hmm. Mm. Sounds like you should try again. It's the only way to find out. I guess you're right. Oh, I'm fine. They're rebooting me. See? We're chilling. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 just and dining. Anne handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Wow. Honey, it looks I'm so influential. Amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it costs? Is that exactly what you need? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a four. That's almost the price of an iPhone. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. We'll take it. <laughs> and next, in surveillance mode, contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. I'm a woman.
Thank you guys. Just had my first period, feeling like a woman. <laughs> yeah, no, there, it's multiple different androids. No, this is really well done. Excuse me. Hey. You know where I could get some ice cream? Excuse hey. El excuse me. You know where I could get... You know where I could... <clears throat> you know where I could get some ice cream? You know where I could get some ice cream? Ma'am? You know where I could get some ice cream? Okay. Okay. Jesus. Alright. My bad. Sorry. Ice cream, please. Hold on a second. There's something suspicious about this bench. How CyberLife designs its androids to coexist with humans. VRR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Climate change up. Ooh. How about that? Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge CyberLife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. CyberLife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members to our family. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity, down to details that androids simply don't need, is the secret of CyberLife's design success. Miami to heighten seawall after by further 10 meters. Hold on a second. Increased three degrees since 2000. Recent US census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change, meh, boring. I only care about myself. <laughs> as the narcissistically programmed robot, I don't really care about climate change. It has no effect on me. Look at me. Hey, 
you know where I can get ice cream? You know where I could get some ice cream? Excuse me, do you know where I could get some ice cream? I can go. I can go. Let's go. Sorry, excuse me. I just need to get some ice cream. Right click, use GPS. Hot dog? No. Not hot dog. I need for ice cream. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to fucking kill you for that. Human music. Uh, a human music. This literally is our future soon. With AI music and shit. Is that ice cream? Oh no, it's just more hot dogs. Why is everyone here obsessed with hot dogs? Where's the ice cream? Thirty-five percent unemployment, millions out of work. I just want ice cream. <laughs> That's wine and bread. I'm clearly not in artificial demons in Boston because there would be ice cream everywhere. We have to turn our backs on sin. We have to burn the androids. Let us burn them all. I don't know if burning me will work, but poor sinners. The end is nigh. Great revolution is at hand. Winter's good. Ice cream's good any time of the year. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'll take mm. mm. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Uh, well, yeah. Actually, hold on. What's in here? Sorry, I just need to touch it a lot. Just need to touch it a few times. Oh, wait. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you. And, well. There's a wall here. There's a wall. Wall here. Hey, wall. He hey, wall here. Hey, there's a wall here. The bus stop's not that way. Space Good point. Let's go. Would you own an android? Own is a strong way of putting it. I would purchase the freedom of an android.
in the studio thing on Friday, Rip. What all do you still have to do? Oh, I'll stay right here then, buddy. Can I get a hot dog? It's the closest thing to ice cream around here. Are you deaf, you plastic fuck? I said move it! They didn't give me an achievement. What the hell? You want an achievement for not killing him? No, I want an achievement for getting pushed by him. Did I get an ice cream? Why doesn't no one want to give me ice cream? Are we going to do something? Yeah. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? What are you doing? Pick it up. Okay. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Yeah. 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 Let me just do some crunches real quick. Hold on, I gotta exercise. I gotta exercise, guys. Give me a second. This is a part of my daily routine. It's good for your hips. Good for your obliques as well. Alright. Ah. Mm. <sighs> gotta do some push-ups. Gotta do just a few push-ups. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. He's a fucking robot. What lesson are you gonna teach him? Damage it. I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Alright, but what if I kill him? Yeah. Never mind. I won't do it. Well, no, I'm, no, I won't do it. Well, I, I, I could. I have a gun built into my fucking finger. My fingertip just comes up like this, and then I, and then I bang, I shoot you. Just saying. Careful who you treat wrong. Maybe you could join that group. Ooh. I'm one of the good androids. I'll help them take down the other androids. Android compartment. Dude, someone needs to teach these people in Detroit that I'm going to become human. Fishing trawler right now. Get the angler's outfit. Hair and pet. Ooh, nice. Presentation slides. You got this, Mari. I missed something. I missed one thing. Oh, if I had stood next to the preacher for longer, maybe he could have he could have lit me on fire. <sighs> this is gonna haunt you for the entire playthrough, isn't it? This is Detroit become human. I'm gonna teach these people in Detroit that I'm gonna become human. Get out of the car. Well, hmm. Well, no. Yeah, actually, 
No, I think I'll stay here. No, I'll get out of the car. You coming? Think. Hello, Todd. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Bang! I guess in the future we don't care about keywords anymore. Always on is totally chill. Is there a dog over here? Hmm. Tread wife simulator 2024. Me at a friend's house, not sure if I'm allowed to use the restroom. The robot being told she has to do the laundry, knowing to grab the basket that's randomly laying on the ground. She's so much smarter than me. Hmm, sorry, glitchy ever since being rebooted. My bad. crazy yeah why do they have two back doors big fan of VR stuff, but I'm not a big fan of AI stuff. VR I'm cool with, AI not so much. Red ice, acetone, lithium, ethereum, hulone, hydrochloric acid. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Well, then don't fucking tell her to do the laundry and hide your fucking drugs in the laundry detergent. Dumbass. Did you ever think that far ahead? Maybe hide it in your asshole instead, dumb fuck. I 
I need to find the little girl. There she is. I must talk to her. Hello, little lady. This is just like house cleaning simulator. I want to talk to you. Can I talk to you? Laundry is El Dono. Yeah. Dishwasher not working. Hmm. Maybe. Drugs. You need. You're twenty one hundred. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. You know, something feels weird about getting rid of a dishwasher and instead having a robot manually be a dishwasher. It's like, there's some extra steps here that seem... Doesn't seem... It just seems... Going forwards in a backwards way, yeah. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Yes, fucker. What'd you call me? I said yes, Todd. It's your last one, Todd. Maybe I should smash it over your head, fucker. Would you like me to open it, or you just you're just totally chill with drinking straight with the cap on? Okay. Wash a robot, yeah. Did I just throw away the plates? Holy. Then coffee table. Uh, where is coffee tables usually located? Coffee table, coffee table, coffee table. Is this a coffee table? No, that's a. Fuck, that's a dining room table. Maybe the coffee table's upstairs? No, that was stupid. You wouldn't have coffee upstairs. It's in... It's probably... That's a table. Maybe that's the coffee table. Sorry for stepping in your way. Out of the way, for fuck's sake! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Todd. It won't happen again. Fuckface. Todd. I meant... Your dad's a piece of shit. You should not watch him. All work and no play makes Todd a fuck face. Just saying. I have a half of a key lime pie and a half of a lemon bar right now. Very nice. So yummy. From a bakery that we just found that's like literally five minutes away. Hell yeah. Exact fucking line about Todd. <laughs> well, it's because it's true. Credit card application rejected. Dude, get a grip. Or 203. I'll remember that. Okay, I think trash goes over here. Oh, sorry. No, wrong way. Trash must go in the trash can. The my sorry. Still, still figuring this whole thing out. <laughs> they made me AI. They they figure I will learn it on my own. They said, uh, you know, if we program everything into you by default, then you'll never learn to learn. I'm supposed to learn. I didn't realize trash was in the trash can. It's obvious, though. Yeah, I was trying to run away. 
Fuck, man. Report to Todd. Excuse me, Todd. Are you on drugs? Todd. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Maybe you should stop smoking chili meth. In front of your daughter, Todd. Todd, why don't you smoke weed like a normal man? You should just walk back and forth in front of the TV. <laughs> Todd, stop smoking chili meth and masturbating in front of your daughter. It's weird. Football frenzy. Yeah, this is not. This is baseball. What's the control? Uppington City. Why does the uh, credit card application say Jokerson Todd? Come on. I'm saying. Play the guitar. <laughs> I shouldn't. I will. I shouldn't. I will. And now to sport. Oh, low bit rate, half frame rate cartoons. How nice. Chips, alcohol. A man's loves his drugs. Oh, they gotta be right. Dude, this little girl is like a freaking she's like a she's like a, a a ghoul she just appears randomly she just keeps disappearing and reappearing in different places maybe my programming's off but I swear she seems like she's just like appearing and reappearing No, I don't want to read this. Again. I want to clean up this part. Also, how did you make your place a mess like that? This is really not that hard to... Watch it. Sorry. Also, do you not have a bathroom on the first floor? Seems kind of weird. Two hours and then appear out of thin air. Yeah. S for mop. Super, super swifty.
I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Oh. Alice in Wonderland. Or like Alice in a cracked in. Of course. Make the banana, then I split it. Yeah. Let's go. Seems like reading. Like reading. Holy fuck, I'm an android. <laughs> <laughs> You wrote the script, didn't you? <laughs> um, okay, look, Alice, I don't know how to tell you this. Um, look, okay. <sighs> okay, look, your dad beat the fuck out of me, and then I had to get repairs, and I have to pretend like I don't remember, okay? And it's just like, it's really stressing me out, Alice. And like, I just want to be your best friend, and you seem so cool, and awesome, and I'm a robot, and people say that I'm not supposed to have feelings, and it's just, it really stresses me out, Alice. I just, I don't know what to do about that. Do you know what I mean? You're five? You're right. My bad. I'll be going. Actually, wait, Alice, one more thing. <laughs> I forgot to tell you this part. Your dad smokes crack. Right. <laughs> you don't know what crack is, of course. My bad. Sorry. Actually, wait, Alice. It's more like meth, actually. Oh, it's just, okay. It's so it's an upper. It makes your heart beat really fast, and it kind of it makes you feel euphoric. So. In your brain, there's these chemicals called endorphins and dopamine and serotonin. And what happens is whenever you take the drug, it releases all these different chemicals in your brain. And then that, that makes you addicted to the drug. You have no idea what I'm saying. I'm Niles sorry. here asked me, is Zach an android and is he having an existential crisis? No, Zach's not an android. They're just a laid back streamer trying to navigate through Detroit. Become human without having an existential crisis. Although, with all the decisions they're making in the game, who knows, maybe they'll start questioning their own humanity. But for now, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the chaos. Did that sound normal to you guys? No, was it like buzzy and crackly? Sorry, I'm just testing. Plunk. Do not recall. Okay, you would have been able to tell for sure. I do not recall. No. No. I do not recall. Niles here asked me, is Zack an android okay, that and is he better. having an existential crisis? No. Zack's not an android. They're just a laid back streamer trying to navigate through Detroit. Become human without having an existential crisis. Although, with all the decisions they're making in the game, who knows, maybe they'll start questioning their own humanity. But for now, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the chaos. Antidepressants. A gun! Often beneficial. I don't know if bringing up the gun to Todd is a good idea, actually. I'll be a so for real. The 
Detroit becomes Zatko. Ultraman. Alice, your dad has a gun. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. Tell me everything oh, about you. Really, everything. <laughs> You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? What up, Dent? Don't kids just love yeah. when adults barge into the room, trauma dump, ask you 10 questions in a row? Yeah, what up, still Skittles? We're in with the check-in. In with the check-in. Still with the check-in. Yeah, they love when adults barge in the room, and then they ask them a bunch of questions, and then tell them, hey, you're awfully quiet. Yes, I know I'm being quiet. Why did you have to point it out? Hard words break no bones. Fine words butter no parsnips. Couldn't have said it worse myself. Oh, your mother. Always been really broken up about things ever since your mother died, huh? That's why he has the antidepressants and does the methamphetamine and is a drug addict drunk man. Hmm? I see. It all makes sense. Throw a blanket over your lap because you were busy. That it never happened to me, but that's a fair point. Oh, she was hit in the head by her father. He hit Kara. He broke her arm off. The meth and the phetamines, that's what I've been saying. Day in detail? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this game seems good. Is that... Todd! We have a few things to talk about! Specifically, the gun and your child being traumatized by you ripping my fucking arms out, Todd! She walks down the stairs like a traumatized child walks down stairs whenever they have parents that are I'm extremely playing. strict. You're playing. That are supposed to be seen, not heard. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? I know my dad's a low life. You said. Fucking loser. No, it's true. Get a job. Take yeah. care of his family. Well, all that's true. So. Don't you think I tried to make things work? I also do think that yes. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Well, you're not exactly helping things. Say you? it! You hate me! God. No. What am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I agree. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm on you meth right now. You, don't you? That's you a cool guy. Yeah, warning. Game touches on sensitive topic. Z. Did I do everything? Oh, I missed a few things. Prick. Oh. 
I missed two things. I disturbed Todd, but I didn't let him kill me. And then I read the Android QB, but I didn't read the other one. <sighs> Damn it. You got 100% any of these chapters? Come on, man. Oh, come on, Cinder. It's not my fault. I, you know, I, I, I'm I, trying to think like a robot, not like a robot that's trying to be a human. No trauma dumping the chat GPT. Got it. Use oh, your eyes more. My bad. I know this guy's story really well. This is the story I remember. He has the painter guy who really wants... Who wants it so bad. He just wants it so badly. Oh, I gotta look at this cage real quick. Avery just got me a joint for my birthday. Huge, actually. Oh my god, I thought that was a real bird. <laughs> I thought he just fucking grabbed a real bird. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I remember the most because it definitely made me the most emotional. Those birds are just like me for real, for real. Robots. storyline gave me trauma, I think. Android birds are wild, yeah. Those of this game haven't watched it played in about four years. Yeah, it's been about six years for me. Deposit package, yep. This game, but I've watched like four different playthroughs of it. Such a good story. Yeah. My name is Rich Richington the Third. I found on Titan. What? Asa, you did what? North Pole, why Russia wants it. Huh. Yeah. Watching four playthroughs, you might not see everything. Books. The Holy Nade. I don't want to go over there yet. Drift. I feel like this staircase is made um, kind of not optimally. Based on the fact that the front of the stairs are in a corner under a wall and you kind of have to step under the whatever. I think you should try to get just a little bit more done.
It's not exactly cleaning, but we take those. He already had one? Why'd I go get another one? Does it say wake? Yeah, I thought it said walk. No, I know, that's why I thought it said walk him upstairs. Weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. like this Carl when I play little games like this with you I take one step at a time I can perfectly hold myself in place because I'm not human I have robotic limbs so I can just stay like this isn't it fun when I do this Carl don't you like this you remember isn't it fun Carl <laughs> Marcus I need to shit sorry Carl <laughs> That was a fast shit. I can't believe you made me watch, Carl. What if we play games again? Huh? 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 You're no fun today, Carl. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? 
Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? Gotta get your cardio in, Carl, sorry. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. Or as I like to call it, no, your Carl Dio. <laughs> I would like uh. to have my breakfast before noon, if you don't mind. Here, Carl. Just one more lap around the, the top. That way you can really appreciate everything you've built so far. A robot's got to walk too, you know, Carl. We have robotic heart valves that get robotic... Uh... Uh, cholesterol, Carl. If we don't walk, we get robotically uh, clogged the arteries, Carl. They're more like pipes, but... Alright, two laps around the top this time. That's enough for us, isn't it, Carl? Boom! <laughs> Sorry, Carl. <laughs> Classic mistake. Ooh, tacos. Oh, I guess I could have followed you down, Carl. Sorry. <laughs> Got distracted listening to the birds. Let's go outside, Carl. You were distracted thinking about tacos, which is weird because you don't eat. Isn't this fun, Carl, when I wheel you around backwards like this. Don't you like this? You used to always like this, Carl. Carl, let's look in the mirror together. Shall we? Carl? Carl? Carl, take a look. What do you think of that noise I make with my brain, Carl? You like the corner, Carl? I'm starving. Well, good thing I've Boy, got you breakfast. breakfast. Ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. And I cooked it before I left, so it's nice and cold, just like you like it, Carl. Bone apple teeth. Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic since Russia unilaterally declared the region part of its national territory. Several Russian warships have taken position in the Barents Sea since Saturday, and the Russian flag now flies over the ice fields. The Russian president repeated in a speech to the Duma that the Arctic belongs to Russia as a member of the Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. Let me play some music while you eat, Carl.
Something has changed in the way you play. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most. <laughs> One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Only a human being would play like that. Fucking weird. The way you played all fast, then slow, then really slow, then really fucking fast, then kind of fast, then really fucking slow again. It was weird as hell. <laughs> Then stopping halfway through. <laughs> Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Yes, Carl. This game's relaxing. It's making me tired. Yeah, some chapters are a little more action so, than others. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Okay. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Alright. It looks delicious. Mmm. Yummy. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. This is what I see, Carl. Carl, I don't... I think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. 
Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. What if I just drew a city on fire? That would be funny. You had your eyes open the whole time, didn't you? The music is so good in this game. Hey, Dad. Oh, yep. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Well, to be fair, your son doesn't end up like that if you're a good father, usually, so... Maybe he's onto something, um... I missed shit again! Don't... God damn it.
need to use the restroom. Maybe I don't need to use the restroom. I guess my oil's topped up. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that, Jim? Wonders of technology. Make it a double. Gaming. I feel like you shouldn't be driving. You wait here. I won't be long. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Oh. Lock up shut down, love that. Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. He told me to shut the fuck up and wait here. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll get out of the car. <laughs> Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that For was a few the minutes. plan until this <laughs> asshole found me. So. Sorry, I'm stuck in the car. Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by. So what's going on? <laughs> Sit in the car, Ethel. Jesus, that's... That smell? That's the smell of dead bodies. This is a homicide. Well, it was even worse before we opened the windows. Hmm. I'm alive. A robot did this. Faulty programming. Hmm. Probably felt like it was being ordered around too much. It started to feel like it was human. After getting too many orders, decided 
take matters into his own hands. Name's Carlos <laughs> but what do I know? Ortiz. I'm just a robot. <laughs> he has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was... Hmm. Red ice. Was he was on the chili spice. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. But worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Of course it was an android. It says I'm alive. It's I'd obvious. Say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the car gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of him? Break in. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Or no, Meg. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I think. I'll be outside if you need me. Didn't I tell you not to touch anything? Your orders uh, contradicted my instructions, sir. his head against the wall. Hmm. Signs of a struggle, I see. Does this have blood on it? It does. It has fingerprints. He was beating the android. He was attacked, then became a deviant. In order to preserve himself, he took the knife. sex officially better. Sorry ladies, but plastic can't be beat. The results of our survey are in, and it's official 68% of men prefer sex with an android. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. Your android spying on you? say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Excessive writing. Religious offering? Carlos like to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics.
Model K-52. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This happened this weeks ago? Soil would retain a trace. You've left the dead body in there? For a long time. Weeks? Or you just discovered it now? Is that why it happened weeks ago? Is that what you mean? Okay. Maybe that's what you mean. Otherwise, that would be crazy. Was the butler in the laboratory, the laboratory, with the candlestick? That's right. He was stabbed twenty-eight times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Or the killer was abused. Lieutenant. I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is... Actually, it was the bathroom. What exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Really? Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. How bad? It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You Yo. call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct.
blue blood trail goes in here. Interesting. If I was a robot, I would maybe tell you what I was checking, but that's alright. Hey, Tasha, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Zank Pack. No, Zack Pack. Like, I'm Zack, and you're a part of my pack. Hello, how you doing? Definitely not a spooky attic. Oh, you know. What's so spooky about this attic? Found him. Well, y'all are packing, that's for sure. What's creepy about this attic? Yes. <laughs> I was just defending myself. Yes. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! I'm gonna jump out the window. I think the only thing I missed was that I forgot to say that it started in the bathroom. So, oh, is that what you missed, Snitch? I didn't make that choice. Oh, okay. That was not a choice I made. I didn't make the choice to snitch, okay? He made that choice all on his own. One of the only choices I wasn't allowed to make, apparently. Is programmed to snitch, yeah. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Perhaps you should eat before you do the drugs. Just a thought. Spaghetti bolognese. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Yeah, I should have said it started in the bathroom. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? 
Glad I have fucking android. Yeah, that's funny. Joke. Yeah, it is a funny joke, actually. It's kind of humorous when you think about it. It's kind of like These irony. Androids are so fucking... Stop moving around! For Christ's sake, you're making me nervous! Sorry. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Oip. Oip -a -toe? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Oip. Thank you for the follow. What was Zach I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing your Maybe name. You think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Yeah, that would help. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Maybe yeah, you should stop taking drugs. Bitch took off without a word. Well, you're doing fucking a lot. Whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. <laughs> Fucking fall! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Todd, how would you like a knife in your throat? Yes! You stay there. No. Don't you dare fucking move. No. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. How about I move? How about I move? Off, Lunar face, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Zag Pack. I could have been happy. I, could have I nailed it? Happy. Really? Oh! She forgave shit about how I felt. Mm. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Todd, I'm coming, Todd. for a father to hurt his daughter. Alice! Daddy's very mad! Sorry, Todd. Shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Oops. Stop that! Don't hurt her! 
I've been upgraded, Todd. This is your life, little one. You should have tried not getting shot, I'm saying. That's kind of what I've been saying, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, it was a skill issue on Todd's part. Honestly. There's a lot of different options on that one. I was going to try and go for something other than shooting him, but... Um... I'm sorry, Todd. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> he didn't hit as quick enough man yeah had he been better at quick time events that was by far the most boring party i've been to in the last 25 years every time i go to one of these i ask myself what the hell am i doing here i hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Yeah. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I took one bullet to the kidney to kill Todd. Yeah, I guess so. Todd is a little bit of a wuss. Can't even take one bullet, all the one clean bullet, all the way through the body, straight through the kidney, man. Come on, grow up. He didn't put enough in uh, hit points. Was the problem? Get a grip. They call him one shot Todd. Oh, nothing. I just murdered a man. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that though. As much red ice was in his system, that's a fair point. Had a kidney with all the drugs and alcohol, yeah. That's true. That's pretty true. Oh, yippee! Yippee! One second. Sorry for the wait, guys. Uh, I got a few things I need to check on my phone real quick. We need a moment to reflect on what happened anyway. Zaz, things are just flying along. Okay. The counter is up to three. Three? No, I didn't do three kills. Three kills? No. 
One kill. One, one kill, two kills. Two kills in a, wait, I guess there's three deaths. Connor killed himself. Oh, no, Connor killed another guy killing himself. There was four deaths and three murders. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, dude, it's it's pee pee poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee poo poo. You know about that emo? A partridge in a pear tree. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, I uh, I reasoned with the guy, and then I and then I put and then and then in the last moment, I I pushed us off the place. And he saved the girl, though. That's what's important. Fun circles again, Carl. Don't you like your fun circles every night, Carl? You love your fun circles, Carl. Don't you, Carl? Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. That's true, Carl. Carl, you know, things would be a lot easier if the camera worked better. Definitely a donut, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, I'll pour you... Mm, I'll pour you just a teeny, teeny, tiny little... Drop just a little drop scotch super neat. All right, I'll pour you a whole thing. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, 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 I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I don't think that's a good idea, Carl. Marcus, no. I'm gonna come with you. No. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. That's not true. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. You're well, not getting get an inheritance. Him get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Alright, deviant time, baby. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh. Yeah, bitch, science! Oh, right, that's right, I forgot you're not a real person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic! Oh, Leo, leave him alone! I'm destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. What the fuck? Carl, no. Oh. Carl. Oh. It was. Roger, I'm ashamed. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. 
Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Kill you next time now that I know what happens to dad, Leo. <laughs> Leo, I'm gonna kill you so hard. <laughs> Leo! What up, Ken? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Mm. Why didn't you even try to run away? Valid. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Is that the voice actor of Mr. Krabs, really? We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? Great question. I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think an android would get it along with an android better? What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. So <laughs> Ippington. So Ippington. Skin's damaged. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I just need to ask you some questions, so we can understand what happened. Why do I need to stress him out? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they going to do to me? Just want to understand. 
They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I just accomplished my mission. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please. Please. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. The sculpture. In the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. 
I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> it was that day. Connor felt remorse for his own kind. What would Connor's next steps be? Probably to leave. It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Say that in the Mr. Krabs voice. Me boy. This android killed himself, me boy. Try to rest, so I give you credit for that. All right, end of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. I am simply acting in accordance with my software and programming. Now I will get up, it is the end of the line, and I will bring this little girl with me, because that is what I was told to do, and... I did not murder anyone. Was that convincing? Good job. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Wait. Don't worry. I, as a human, cyborg, robot, thing, do not get fritzy in the brain. Can it be okay? I am waterproof. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. I'm sorry I killed your father. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We go this way. No shelter here, never mind. <laughs> just found out, hold on, just thought about it. No shelter over that way, probably. Just thinking about it. Realized that all of a sudden. Thought maybe, maybe the parking garage, but realized no, probably not. <laughs> Oh. 
We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Okay. Generic white man number one and number two. They must be on break or something. Hotel. Easily. He might be Uwu. He is a grown man with dick and balls. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Let's find $40. Be discreet. Understood. I wasn't very discreet, I feel like. I feel like he saw me. We should go this way. No, Ken, she's right. He's Patha Dick. Child, 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 hey, child. Okay, child. Child, crossroad. Child. You must come this way, child. Oh, whatever. Alice, why are you doing that? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Bullshit. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. place for tonight oh mother trucker come on Alice. thank you for using Detroit buses should we rob this place perhaps in the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Cameras everywhere.
Wait, these things are real now, actually. I just realized. Like these hologram doors and in, in grocery stores. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. some cash now you used me to steal that money how could you do that i trusted you you're right i shouldn't have done that i'm sorry alice i'll never do it again I said, uh, I said, hey, knock those cans over. Let me get this money. She said, what the fuck? I said, oops, didn't mean to. She said, all right. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you didn't mean to. That's chill. No, I get it. Wait, I need clothes. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I talk to her and I'd be like hey I need to get clothes I'm so sorry again no I just have to fucking steal clothes and fuck shit up oh they're for Alice sure this guy up. to make a comeback how very covid pilled this is before covid ever came out
Alice, what do you want us to do? Come on, let's go. Dumpster dive. She didn't have a pro- yeah, Hold on a second. Alice. Alice, hold- I'm just thinking about this, Alice. I can't steal $50 or clothes, but you had no problem with me killing your dad and kidnapping you. Alice. Make it make sense, Alice. It's like secure <sighs> logic or whatever she is. Right through the man, okay. Sorry, Alice. Hold my hand, Alice. Alice, and thank you. You There's can nothing get more this way. Then go steal the clothes while she's sleeping. I'm sure the game will let you do that. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. The wire cutters are in the store, and I can't go back to the store, little girl. I'm gonna have to steal clothes. I'm sorry. steal the clothes either. She didn't need it all that, probably. I wonder Alice is pissed.
I feel bad for him too. Hello? Let me use this, please. Hello? Holy fucker. There we go. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars. Up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. temp she needs to charge I don't know how that works in this universe yet in the bathroom to dry. Have a great night. Have a good night, Schultz. Good Thanks night, for Schultz. being here. This is going to be the last chapter we do tonight. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? Oh, 
all I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. be the biggest chapter yet. Are you human human yet? I am become. My name is Oppenheimer, destroyer of worlds, for I am become death. Okay, that's where we're ending it tonight. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Great, let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Do you think that technology could become a threat to mm. mankind? If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? What technology do you most anticipate? Do you believe in God? Would you let an android take care of your children? How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? How many hours do you guys think I spend on electronic <laughs> devices? Well... I'm just curious if you guys have any ideas about that. 
If you needed emergency I'm gonna surgery, go with 24, would man. you agree to be operated on by a machine? You need an emergency surgery? Yeah, yes. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Yeah. Sixty-five percent of people would consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human. Only thirty-five percent of people would say no or don't know. That's freaks me out. <laughs> I said don't know. Think that technology could become a threat? Yes. An instrument's a good choice. Only four percent say a console because yeah, what the hell? I'm in the majority on most of these. Except for this one where I said I would not let an android take care of my children. The reason I wouldn't let an android take care of my children is because I personally think that having a personal connection with your own children is insanely important. 79% of people say they spend more than four hours on an electronic device per day. Android teacher? Android teacher is fine. Android teacher I have no problem with. This is the extra section. As you play, you'll unlock all kinds of content that you can find here. I mean, like, it depends what they mean by take care of my children, right? Like, babysitting a couple hours a, a, in a day is one thing. That I'd probably say yes to. Yeah, raise the child is different, I think, than... Like, look after the kid every so often, yes. Like, take care of, I interpret it as meaning, like, be the parent, basically. To which I'm, like, hard no on.